ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, if you able, if you are able to see, then just let me know. Okay. So yeah, is it visible? One second, it's loading. Yeah, loaded. Okay. It's visible, I think, right? Mm, yes, yes. Okay. How uh, to minimize that? Okay. Got it. So uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say something. So uh, whenever you are trying to learn, uh, I mean, whenever uh, anyone trying to learn machine learning, so first of all, uh, he has to learn the linear regression. Okay, so there is a reason because in linear regression there are lots of topic uh, hidden. Okay, so you will find like a uh, if you if you want to learn specifically the deep learning, so uh, knowing the linear regression will help you a lot because. Uh, in linear regression we uh, use gradient descent here okay we use cost function here so everything included in the linear regression so if you have uh, the I mean uh, uh, how can I how can I say uh, if you have the I mean enhanced understanding on linear regression then I think uh, uh, you will not have the problem okay further whenever you will learn the other uh, algorithm okay so that's why it's okay uh, that's why it's important and uh, we can say it's a uh, easy an easy algorithm also because you know uh, implementation wise it would be uh, like tricky but if you think that I think uh, it would be very easy because we have learned uh, this topic in our school days okay so like you know that uh, y is equal to mx plus c okay so this is the straight line formula okay so yeah so uh, t uh, so keep uh, it uh, in our mind so we will implement the whole linear regression okay so it will just based on that but uh, whatever you will calculate uh, the loss with respect to your I mean uh, gradient function so that would be a little bit tricky because you have to know the differential calculus a bit okay so that I know one, one more thing bro uh, like um, what is the like like a uh, main difference between this uh, uh, regression and classification classification okay so okay so suppose uh, so uh, we can say uh, if we if we talk about machine learning, okay, machine learning. So so one thing, one thing. Okay. So we have two types of algorithm. One is um, regression, one is classification. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, okay, now you. Explain. Okay, so okay, so uh, I I'm giving you the brief. Uh, I mean, the introduction about the classification regression. Suppose uh, uh, suppose in machine learning, so there there are three techniques. Okay, so one is you will find uh, regression. regression okay then one is classification and uh, the third is clustering so uh, should i make it note uh, if you can so oh, i think yeah okay, okay. but uh, i'm recording the video okay so if you need that i, I can send you Later. Oh, okay, okay, that that, that will be good. Okay. okay. Uh, because you know, <laughs> I've started YouTubing also, so recording is, uh, I mean, here in my computer. Okay, so that's why I thought, uh, I think uh, that will help you after. Okay, so yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so in machine learning, uh, there are three problems uh, we uh, we used to solve like regression, classification, and clustering. Okay. So now, if I uh, talk about if I talk about regression, okay, so what is regression? First of all, we have to understand, okay, so regression. Regression. So, I think uh, you have a heard of regression, okay, so in regression, uh, what we, uh, what, what we, uh, I mean, supposed to do, so suppose you have some data, okay, so suppose you have some data, so suppose you are solving a house price prediction, house price prediction okay house price prediction so in a house price prediction uh, what might be the feature so there might be feature like area of the house area of house then another feature would be uh, suppose uh, uh, number of room number of room of the house then suppose this is the price so we can say this price is our target column Right, because at the end we have yeah, to, we have like, to predict the uh, price, right? Okay. 
yes so, prices that uh, depend on the variable yeah depend on variable yeah and and yes. this and this two hour independent variable okay yes i think uh, that much you got clear okay yes, so yes. i think you uh, uh, i think you are supposed to know the uh, basics of statistics so if you uh, have learned the statistics so you can say uh, there are we, uh, I mean, there are, I mean, data type. Okay, so there are data type like, uh, uh, there are data type like, uh, we can say uh, there are uh, data type means one of uh, data type is categorical data, categorical. Yes. Data. I think you have learned that, right? Categorical yes, data. Yes. Then one is numerical data. Non numerical, yes. Numerical data. Okay. So in numerical data, this is, so this hierarchy of, then two type okay so in numerical data there you will find the two type two type of numerical data one is continuous okay another is discrete correct discrete right so if i yeah. if i talk about the continuous so what would be the continuous when you whenever you have the fictional i mean uh, the fractional number okay like uh, 0 0.75 then uh, 500.9 Okay, then uh, yeah, okay. like uh, yeah. age, weight, yeah, age, uh, weight, yeah. Okay. Suppose uh, yes. then it might be like uh, uh, 56, 57, 80, uh, 67, 100, okay, and so on. Okay, uh, this uh, so this kinds of continuous number will have in our continuous data, but what about the discrete? So, discrete mean we can say there are non uh, how can I say non uh, fractional data that means. It might Correct. be zero. It might be one. Okay. It might be. It should not be like one point yeah. two, like um, mm -hmm. two point five. It should not be like that. It, it will be, be like a one uh, direct number, like direct a numbers. family yeah. member. Yeah. We can say. Uh, we can say just uh, discrete means yes or no. Yes or no. Yes, right? correct. Yes correct. or no. Then uh, uh, we can say uh, good, better, good, better, best, right? Yes. We can say like. Uh, whenever it will come good we, we can say this is one one mean good uh, better means two and best means three can we say that yeah yes. so yeah so that's kinds of observation we uh, we are usually uh, do in the i mean statistics okay so now if i talk about the regression so in regression we always use the continuous data okay so i think you know supervised learning supervised learning we use uh, our independent feature independent and the dependent feature right uh. dependent feature because we have to give the answer also uh, I mean in our model otherwise model won't be understand in supervised learning okay but in unsupervised learning we are not supposed to give the I mean our target column because unsupervised learning what it does it does the cluster I think you know that right so okay so reg linear regression is a supervised machine learning algorithm okay so linear regression is a uh, uh, I mean uh, supervised machine learning algorithm so in linear regression okay sorry okay supervised machine learning algorithm so in linear regression we are supposed to give our uh, I mean target target data as well because I, I told you area of house this is one of the column so this is our independent column right this is our independent column and the target target is our price right target is our price so what should be the price because I, I told you in regression we always use the continuous data so price might be like a, a 20k then 20.5k then 30k right then 40.5k uh, then one lakh, one lakh. Yes. Okay, so this kinds of value we can get usually. I mean, uh, in our regression problem. Okay, this is, so this is the regression problem. So you have to always aware about that when you ha when you have your target. Uh, I mean, uh, target column as a continuous number. Okay, as a as a as a continuous number. At the time, you have to understand this is your regression problem. Regression regression problem okay but what if you have a problem statement uh, you have a problem statement suppose uh, this is the C CGPA okay this is the CGPA 
and uh, and this is the uh, I mean how can I say this is the C uh, CGPA and this is the package this is the package uh, package and you have to predict whether the student would be uh, pass or fail pass or fail okay okay so then what would be my target column it, it would be continuous or dis discrete what what do you think uh, it will be um, discrete discrete this Dis discrete mean it would be category right because uh, yes. pass or fail that means yes or no right yes or no yes okay suppose this yes. is this is my cgpa suppose 3.50 this is my cgpa and my package is suppose uh, my package is uh, 50k okay but so, one thing bro mm -hmm. uh, suppose you have this uh, cgp and package mm -hmm. and if you don't have pass and fail data mm -hmm. so how in on super uh, how in um, classification mm -hmm. will get this whether you will pass or fail no no at the time uh, this problem will be the unsupervised learning problem suppose you, you don't have this data okay you don't have your target column so we know this is our target column right this is our target column but suppose you you don't have your target column so so at the time it won't be the i mean supervised learning problem okay because I, I, we know supervised in supervised learning we give input and output right uh, correct input and output but Whenever you don't have your output at that time, it would be the clustering problem. That would be unsupervised learning problem. Okay. So in unsupervised learning, what 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 you will do? You will just cluster your data. Suppose you have plotted your data. Okay. Suppose this is the uh, I mean uh, this is a two uh, D I mean axis. Suppose this is your x axis. This is your y axis. Suppose this is your CGPA. Okay. This is your CGPA, and this is your package. Suppose this is your package. Okay. Suppose you have plotted the data like that. Okay. Suppose this is uh, you have plotted like that, and you have also plotted like that. So whenever you will plot the data, you will see there would be two cluster, two kinds of cluster. So, so can't we say this is one cluster and this is another cluster? Okay. So this yeah, cluster, cluster, yeah. cluster in the sense like uh, two cluster. Two Correct. cluster. Suppose uh, can, can't we say this? Uh, these people are pass. These people are pass, and these people are fail. Because okay, yes, because yes. because they have low CGPA and low package, right? So the probability would yes. be they will be fail, right? But these people you can yes. see their CGPA is higher than uh, higher, and uh, the package is also higher as well, right? So can't we say this? Okay. Would, this would be pass, right? So yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A unsupervised learning. Unsuper wise learning comes into picture okay so that's how it will solve the problem okay but now we are talking okay. about the supervised learning so in supervised learning we know we have the input data we know we and we have the output data right so yes here here is the example suppose uh, you ha you have a problem statement uh, so you have the cgpa and you have the package and you have to predict whether a student would be pass or fail in the exam okay so this uh -huh. kinds of problem whenever you have so you have your output data yes or no okay suppose you have to predict pass or fail so you have yes. just categorical output categorical output right categorical or we can say the discrete output discrete uh. number right so so this would be the classic uh, this would be the classification classification and uh, at the first i show i, I show i have shown you the regression problem i think yes I think you got it right now yes okay so i think uh, you know what is the i mean uh, regression and what is classification do you have any confusion then yes. ask me no no okay so now we can uh, proceed further okay so uh, we have seen uh, the regression and the classification so now uh, i told you the linear regression is a uh, i mean uh, regression problem so w one thing uh, so you told like there are being three types na huh? So one more is that clustering. Clustering, how, yeah. How? Uh, what about that clustering? Okay, I clustering. I, I showed you. Is this is the clustering? Suppose uh, you don't have you don't have your target column. Okay. Suppose you don't have a target column. Suppose you have okay, just so, okay. Suppose suppose you have just CGPA, CGPA, and you have just package. Okay. Yes. Then you have to predict 
whether this student would be pass or fail. So what we will do, you don't have the target column. Okay, suppose here we have seen, here we have our target target column, right? Pass or fail uh, in, in, uh, in, in supervised learning. But in unsupervised yes. learning, you don't have the target, just you have the CGPA and the package, right? You have the CGPA and the yes. package, right? So what you will do, yes. you will just plot the data first of all, okay? In a 2D axis, you will just plot the, uh, I mean, uh, if you have, if you have more, if you have more, uh, I mean, feature, so that at that time your dimension would be high, okay? But uh, in, yes. in, in a human being, we just, uh, I mean, we are able to see the, I mean, uh, 2D, I mean, axis, right? I mean, two dimension. That's why I, yes. I, I'm giving you the, two di uh, I mean, two dimensional example, okay? So this is your CGPA and this is your package. This is your package, right? So if you plot this data, so you will see this kinds of cluster will be consist. Okay, this this kinds of cluster will be consist of. So now you can see there are two cluster. Okay, so I have shown you this is one cluster and this is another cluster. Okay, now can't you say this low cluster people, these people, this people has a high probability. Uh, I mean, uh, a fail. yeah, uh, I mean, uh, pass. You can say pass. Uh, no, so, sorry, fail, fail, right? Yes. Okay. High probability, there, 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 there will be, there might be fail. Okay. But these people, can't you say, they might be pass because their CGPA is high, and uh, the yes. package is also high. Okay. So these people absolutely will be pass in the exam. Okay. But there might be some outliers also. Uh, you can see. Uh, uh, do you know about outliers? Yes. Okay. So there might be some outliers also because uh, uh, there would be some people their uh, CG, uh, their package would be high but their CGP would be less. Okay, so these people will be here, and there might be some people their uh, 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 CGP would be high but package might be uh, uh, low. Okay, so these people might be here. Okay, so these are outliers. Okay, these are outliers. So in every data set there might be some outliers. Okay, so we don't have to. I mean worry about that because we have a lots of technique to remove this kinds of outliers okay so i think you know that like uh, we can use the iqr method then we can use uh, the uh, how can i say the statistical analysis we can perform okay so we can plot the box plot then we can see whether uh, in in this data set there is outlier or not okay so that, that's yes. how we are we are supposed to solve the outliers problem okay now we are considering there there isn't any outlier so there there consists of two cluster and this this cluster we can say these people are pass and this cluster these people are fail okay so in clustering technique you are supposed to solve this kinds of problem like that okay clear yes okay so now uh, let's uh, discuss about the linear regression okay so linear regression is an algorithm uh, so one thing one thing okay. before that so uh, just uh, to correct me if i'm uh, if i'm uh, i'm wrong okay okay so um, this supervised and unsupervised so in super uh, under supervised we have this linear regression mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, what is it one second i just made that uh, note thing give me one second Uh, I, I have I, okay so I'm, I'm giving you some intuition okay so some some algorithm uh, about uh, regression and the classification suppose supervised machine learning okay supervised so in supervised uh, there you can find linear regression linear regression then you can find polynomial regression Then there would be decision tree. And there would be a random forest. Okay. Then, uh, okay. then if you uh, talk about the classification. So this will, you, you will know uh, when, uh, when you will go further. Okay. So there would be a uh, lot of algorithm okay but i'm i'm giving you some regression uh, some supervised and unsupervised learning uh, algorithm okay and in classification yes, yes. okay you have the k nearest neighbor knn okay so nearest neighbor is also a regression regression algorithm regressor we can say regressor and also a uh, classifier 
and now okay, if i okay. if i talk about uh, the unsupervised learning algorithm so there there you can see that an and all na no? yeah unsupervised uh, in unsupervised you can see there are uh, uh, lots of algorithm like uh, clustering that means k means clustering k means clustering clustering then you can find uh, pca principal component analysis okay then you can see uh, uh, then db scan db scan okay then you have uh, uh, you have the fp growth okay then uh, then the, you have uh, i think uh, a priori okay this is one of the algorithm okay but you are not supposed to learn like that okay so if you know the k means clustering pca and db scan i think uh, you can solve most of the problem by using that okay so these are the some algorithm you can find but there are lots of algorithm in supervised also okay so if you go further then you will see okay just uh, go through the lecture i think you will find okay but uh, uh, supervised learning uh, today we are uh, learning about the linear regression okay so linear regression uh, let's see what are the i mean term and terminology okay is uh, i mean are there okay so now let's talk about the linear regression linear regression so i think you know i told you linear regression is a supervised machine learning algorithm okay so it can solve the, the regression problem just so if you see the regression okay so it, it na name contains the regression that means it can solve the regression problem just okay correct okay so suppose uh, i told you uh, linear uh, regression task means we have the continuous data right our, our output would be continuous data okay so whenever you have the continuous data uh, i mean uh, of your output so at that time you will know this is my regression problem and the regression problem you can solve by using a uh, i mean many kinds of algorithm like linear regression random forest k nearest neighbor decision tree exe boost ada boost okay uh, then with uh, i think uh, uh, statistic gradient descent okay so these are the some algorithm you can utilize but uh, linear regression is a one of the i mean very powerful algorithm okay so and uh, it can solve uh, many kinds of problem okay so whenever you have the linear kinds of data set okay whenever you have the linear kinds of problem so you can easily solve the, uh, the problem by using this linear regression okay so now i have told you the linear kinds of problem okay so i think you have uh, seen that most of the time okay suppose you have some data okay so suppose you have some data so if i uh, if i told you suppose suppose you have some data you have a problem statement you have to predict uh, the house price prediction suppose uh, in your district you have to predict the house price prediction okay and uh, just for the example i am i'm giving uh, i mean i am keeping the just uh, just you can say the two features one is uh, our uh, independent feature and one it uh, one is, would be our dependent feature okay so for the ind independent feature suppose area of a house okay suppose you have the area of a house and you have the price okay suppose just consider okay just consider you have the area then you have to predict the price what would be the price of this particular house okay so suppose uh, you have some area you have some area suppose uh, uh, this is just as just assume okay so, suppose you can say uh, you have uh, seven acre okay you have seven acre then uh, the price is uh, suppose 11 11 lakh okay then you have uh, two area is uh, area is two acre uh, then uh, you can say the price is four lakh okay then just i'm keeping just uh, random numbers okay don't take it serious suppose uh, you have 17 as your area acre then uh, uh, your price is 15 lakh okay so th this kinds of data suppose you have okay so at the end what you will do 
you will just uh, do some exploratory data analysis. I think you know what is exploratory data analysis, right? Huh. Okay. So in exploratory data analysis, what, what do we usually do? We just try to plot this data, this kinds of data, we, we just try to plot, okay? So suppose uh, this is, uh, suppose, what is the dimension of your data? Can you say right now? Uh, this is uh, 2D. 2D, because uh, you have just uh, one is your independent feature. One is dependent. Dependent feature, right? So, so uh, in x-axis, so this is our area, right? This is our area and the y-axis, this is our price, right? Okay. So now you have to plot the data. Okay. So if you plot the data, okay. So if you plot the data in a graph, so you will see the, the relation would be like that. Okay. The relation would be like that because, yes, because you have seen, uh, okay. If, if the area increases so so the price be uh, the price will al also increase right yes okay because uh, uh, whether the area when the area will increase the uh, house of the house 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 will increase also then the price price yes, will yes. be high okay so so you can see the area is increasing as well as the price is price is increasing right yes. it's a linear relationship okay so if you if you yes. uh, see that it's a linear relationship okay so so can't we say uh, if we if if we can i mean uh, find a line which can i mean uh, predict the best fit line okay so if we if we are able to draw a best fit line in this linear kinds of data set okay so we can we can think in a, in the features what would be the price further okay suppose this is the linear line line okay this is the linear line and now your new value has come here okay new value has come here suppose this is your new value okay so suppose uh, uh, this is your new value then how it will predict so it will just map this area okay it will just map this area and we'll see what is the price here yes right are you getting what i'm trying to say yes okay yes that's how you can solve a very complex problem by using the linear equation just because your data is separated by linear because they are getting yes. the linear relationship each other right so why we will use the i mean complex problem if we have the linear relationship we can i mean we can just uh, perform the linear regression here because we can see our data is a linear separable data okay so if we can if we can fit a best fit line here so we can solve our problem very easily okay so this is a robust, I mean, technique. Okay, so for that, I think you know this line from where it where it comes from. I think you know this is a line. Uh, so the, this line is equation is y is equal to mx. Mx plus c. Like mx plus c. Okay. Sometimes we also write that y is equal to uh, mx plus b. Okay. Sometimes yes. we also write y is equal to uh, wx plus b. Okay. Sometimes we also write y is equal to w transpose x. Okay, okay. Uh, then uh, yeah, w w transpose x plus b. Okay. Sometimes we also like uh, 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 I mean uh, write like that. Okay. So this kinds of uh, term you you can find uh, in a uh, many different book. Okay. So they they just use. Okay. Uh, so that's why I have shown you. So here. If I talk about the M, M, so do you know what is the M here? What is the M here? M is uh, that uh, slope. M is a slope. So slope means what? Uh, slope means increases in the Y, in, uh, sorry, increases in the X by increases in the Y. Okay. So okay. This, is, this is the slope equation you can say. So slope is equal to no, nothing but uh, change in change in y divided by change in x. Okay. So what is the unit? Suppose you have gone just one unit in your x direction, right? Suppose this is one unit. Okay. This is one unit. Suppose. Okay. So now let's see what is the change in your y axis. Okay. This is the y. Okay. This is your y axis. This is your y. So what what is the change in y? Okay, you have 
gone just one unit in the x direction then you can see there is some slope can you observe yes. there is some slope yes. okay this yes. this slope is also increased in one unit okay so just i am giving the random example okay suppose you have gone toward the x direction one unit and your y is also increases i mean the slope is also one unit it it has also one unit okay so the slope yes. equation would be change in y change in y so this is this is your change in y divided by change in x okay so if you divide that suppose uh, change in y is, is equal to 4 and change in x is equal to 2 so if you divide by then your slope would be 2 okay so that's how you can calculate your slope okay this is the slope and what is the c here what is the c here c is that um, c is a, that, uh, c is a intercept. intercept intercept this line is intersecting at this point right at this point huh? it is intersecting uh, but it can it can also intersect at that point uh, at, the, at, the, at 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 that point okay yes it can also intersect at that point yes right? there might be lots of line okay there might be lots of line but how can we find the our best fit line so in, in this line so which line uh, would you prefer to keep which line that uh, first one the first one means the white one right yes because why why you will consider this white line you you have some uh, uh, i mean uh, proof why because uh, this uh, line is uh, covering more like uh, more more data more data because data point. okay because if we if we consider the residual sum of residual suppose uh, okay so let me draw it uh, very clearly then i think i can explain it better okay there is some issue uh, okay, I think it's perfect. suppose this is the same uh, okay this is the same example i am uh, taking okay so this is your x axis so this is your area and this is your y axis this is your price this is your price okay and you have your some data like uh, they are following the linear linear relationship with other okay and uh, so suppose uh, in linear regression we usually know we just uh, try to uh, i mean uh, i mean we just try to plot a line okay we just try to plot a straight line between our data okay so there might be lots of line it can be one line then it can be one line then also it can be one line okay so then also it can be one line there there might be lots of line okay now how would you consider which line is the best fit line here so um, i will consider like uh, which line is covering more uh, yeah. data so, point so first in any in, in, uh, i mean on your observation which line is the best fit here what do you think uh, white, white white right because you know you can see this white line is covering most of the point it is trying to cover most of the point right yes as a human being we can see that but in computer i mean uh, our computer how it will understand whether it is a best fit line or not okay so there is the problem comes into picture okay so so for, uh, i mean uh, to give the intuition i mean uh, to our system like this is the best fit line so how how it will understand how it will calculate okay so it can also consider it's a best fit line but this is not a best fit line because we can see this is not a best fit line but our computer mind think this is a best fit line right so that's how we have to optimize the error okay so if we if we consider so this is the error okay so you can see this is our actual point right this is our actual point but our model is, has predicted this point right this point yes. so in between so this is our re residual we can say uh, resi residual uh, re residual okay so this is a residual that means error okay so my model is i mean uh, uh, I mean uh, showing this much of error okay so this this much of prediction is error I'm getting this is a huge error okay so this is not a robust system but if you consider this white line there are less error right if we consider there are less error most of the point are covering but okay yes. but uh, but 
if you if you think if you think this green line so there you can see there there are lots of error there are lots of error and if you consider this blue line you can see there are lots of error okay so now we can see this is our best fit line because it is uh, it is trying to fit the properly in, in into the data okay and the residuals is very low okay the residuals is very low okay if we calculate the error yes. so the error would be minimum okay at that at that uh, i mean this line so this is the intuition of linear regression we just so okay so uh, okay so i'm giving you some intuition like i have i have shown you if uh, if this is a straight line okay if this is a straight line okay. suppose this is y is equal to mx plus c right so yes. this is the intercept right this is the intercept this is the c point right this is the c point yes. so if we change this c suppose if we, suppose this uh, c is right now 3 okay suppose this is 3 okay this is 3 at this point it is 3 suppose if we change this like 5 so this this line would be i mean this line would be here yes right yes and if we decrease the c suppose uh, now c is 2 this line would be here right yes so as per our uh, i mean increasing and decreasing of the c our line is i mean varying right our our li line is moving right so it one is, thing here bro okay suppose um, you uh, 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 take that uh, line uh, from x axis okay uh, take uh, like um, and then you are getting my point na you draw that line from uh, that uh, x point like uh, x axis x axis no just at no. The, at the time just consider there there are some data okay so there are some data just consider there are some data so uh, th there yes, might yes, no. th there there might be some inter uh, i mean the slope also right there might be some at, at that time just consider slope slope is that means m is constant okay m is constant i haven't taken any yes. m value okay m is constant but you are trying to move your c c point okay that means your intercept point you are, you are trying okay. to change change your c point that means your li line is also changing right as per the c value yeah yeah, this is, yeah, yeah. same thing i'm telling you yeah. change that uh, c line to uh, below uh, x x x uh, yeah. uh, uh, take that line from x axis yeah you are getting me na x axis uh, not only x axis no. i'm just considered the this is the intercept point this is the intersect point are you getting whenever this line yeah, is trying I, to cut this line is trying to cut here right so so yeah cut it in below line yeah so so which line it is cutting it is cutting the y y axis right correct and yes. this is a, this is my x axis so it is not cutting this x uh, axis right that's why we will uh, that's why i'm saying yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, keep your if you will cut in x axis then what will be my c value yeah what will be c value but it can also cut the x axis also okay uh, can, now can, what what will be my c value now you can say your uh, your your uh, c value would be like uh, this is your x okay so in x axis your c, c value would be suppose uh, this is zero this is one this is two this okay, is three it okay it will be like that only uh, na? yeah are you getting what i'm trying to say yes yes okay. yes just yes, i'm I giving i'm giving the intuition okay just try to understand what i'm trying to say okay yes okay yes. so as per as per the changing in c our line is also also changing right i think you have observed okay. yes now I, yes. I i want to show that in a visually okay so if i uh, okay yeah so if i if i show this so you you will see here this line is moving right this line uh -huh. is moving because i'm uh -huh. I, i'm just changing the c intersect right i'm changing the intersect uh -huh. that's why see yes. this line is increasing i i'm increasing the intersect i'm increasing the c value yes yes right yes suppose uh, uh, initial initial condition your line was there okay but now i am up upgrading my line to our data set okay this is my data uh. now you can see it is slowly slowly converging the actual point see it, yes, is, yes, it is trying yes. to fit, fit in the data okay so that's how linear regression try try to 
fit the data uh, fit the line into the data okay so this is about the c this is about the intersect i mean uh, term okay this is about the intersect intersect term but uh, in linear, linear regression not only just intersect will come there 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 is another i mean term which is the slope okay which is the slope you can see this is our slope here m is the slope right m is the slope so i i told you what is the slope so if i uh, try to uh, again this uh, i mean uh, create this graph if slope in the sense like if you are moving one unit yeah. uh, in x direction yeah. so in y direction also it will move uh, y one point so suppose, that suppose, uh, yeah. difference is slope uh, suppose suppose you are you are moving you are you are moving x direction in one unit okay one unit suppose you yes. have moved x direction suppose this is p this is p okay this is p p unit okay then what would, what would be the y change change in y so this is the change in y okay yes this is the change in y suppose this is q right so if i try to write that so this is the, the slope would be so change in y divided by change in x so uh, change in y is what this is q and change in x is p right so this is your slope are you getting what i'm trying yes. to say okay so what is slope i, I mean uh, so now just consider your intersect is constant constant okay now you are not changing your intersect now you are changing your m value okay this is your m this is your m value okay so now now i can say this this line this line might be like that and this line also might be like that right this might be also like that this line also might like that can't i say yes are you getting because your inter yes. your intersect is constant it is not changing but your direction is changing okay yes so so i mean we can say this is our slope okay this is our slope so if you simultaneously change change your intersect and change your slope so at that time you can see your uh, i mean your model is trying to fit the line okay so this is this is some data this is some data okay so in linear regression what it does it simultaneously it changes your intersect and changes the uh, i mean uh, also changes the slope also okay suppose initial uh, initial condition your intersect would be like that okay intersect and, and slope would be like that and uh, there might be chance this might like that okay so it is also in, it is also changing the intersect it is also changing the slope do you observe yes yes okay <coughs> no, but uh, th this might also like that okay so this is changing this two parameters simultaneously okay simultaneously yes. if i tell you okay but i have shown you the just uh, i mean individually if i talk about the uh, intersect part so i have shown you the individually okay so just it is trying to change the intersect point but now i'm i'm sure I, I have shown you the i mean uh, how the linear regression does this problem okay so it is trying to change this intersect and the slope as well simultaneously then it just try to fit the data in your i mean uh, in your uh, i mean uh, in your data right like uh, it will optimize the i mean the uh, error then it will be able to fit the line perfectly okay so so for calculating error okay. i will come i will come but uh, first of all just uh, i'm i want to show uh, another graph yeah so can you see the graph now, yes yes now you can see this is this is this is also changing the slope and intersect can you observe uh, uh, this, this is also yes. changing the slope and this is also changing the intersect right yes yeah so th so th this is this is how the linear regression try to i mean fit the line in into the data okay so if i show you another graph see this this is the linear fit okay this is the li real time linear fit i mean graph you can say okay so this this is your data first of all your line was there now it is trying to fit the fit the line okay it is also changing the intersect okay. it is also changing the slope are you getting yes yes and and how it is changing you you can see there is a epoch what is the epoch in in programming we just call it loops right loops so uh, what what would be the loops okay what would be the iteration okay so uh, usually we uh, you can see in linear regression there is some parameter we just call uh, 100 iteration and 200 iteration we just try to set in sqln library right have you seen that iteration i i didn't um, notice that okay but, uh, okay i will i will yes. show you uh, what to set 
but first of all initial uh, so uh, like how it will define the i mean exact here you can see that your loss is also increase uh, decreasing okay yes this at this point see your your uh, i mean uh, uh, i mean the uh, gradient descent is also closing the global minima right you can see uh. it is also closing the global minima so this is your b this is your intersect and this is your slope okay so as yes. as per the as per the slope and as per the intersect your cost is also decreasing okay i will show you correct, correct. then see your li your uh, line is also trying to fit at this point and your loss is also increasing initial was the uh, initial uh, point your lo loss was high then it is decreasing slowly slowly okay so that's how yes. gradient descent work okay that's how gradient descent work and we just try to i mean uh, update this m and c value by using the gradient descent formula okay so gradient what is gradient does it's try to find the gradient where it would be i mean where the gradient would be zero okay so at that time it will consider this is the minima point this is the global minima point or local minima point okay so this is a theory of gradient okay. descent okay i will show you but this is the observation some graphical observation you can see here okay yeah so this is the observation now i, I told you uh, there might be some error okay so there might be some error okay so this is this is your uh, i mean the predictive line this is your actual actual point and uh, this line is predicted this point okay so there might be some error okay so how we will calculate this error okay so what would be the formula so calculating the error so you can see there is a formula okay so we can say this is the cost function okay so this is the cost function so what is the formula so this formula is i'm just uh, giving uh, there are lots of i mean cost function okay you can see uh, there are uh, i mean the uh, average uh, average uh, i mean uh, summation of uh, i mean uh, summation of squared error i mean uh, that, that's kind of fun for a cost function you can also see okay uh, there are uh, averaging cost function also see but i am showing you the simple one okay so what would be the cost function summation of i is equal to 1 to m okay then y1 minus y hat suppose uh, now i mean don't consider this one suppose okay this is your cost function y hat is square okay summation and summation of y minus y hat whole square okay this is your cost function what is y here y is your actual point actual point okay y is your actual point and y hat is your predicted point predicted yes. point are you getting okay yes if we if we uh, if we uh, subtract this this point and square them okay so this would be a loss okay this would be a loss which is which you are getting here okay yes which you are getting here so that's how we just try to calculate the loss and what is the summation here summation here means suppose this is your y1 yi and this is y hat i that means you are so suppose there might be lots of data okay so there might be you have suppose you have 100 observation okay you have 100 0 to 100 observation right so it will calculate each and every i mean observation okay suppose first of all it will come to the one then it will come to the one okay first of all it will calculate this error then it will calculate this error it will calculate this error it will calculate this error and then it will sum it up okay it will sum it up there that's why here you can see the summation function is there are you getting yes yes okay yes. so this is the cost function you can say so that's how we just try to calculate the so, cost uh, yeah. one, one question bro okay. so um, uh, we uh, get this cost function for what uh, we calculate this cost function um, for yeah we calculate this cost, cost function in every iteration yes so like uh, where we will use this uh, i mean uh, in your in your algorithm internally it will calculate your loss suppose uh, i have shown you suppose okay suppose this is no, no, in our in our formula okay. uh, I, I got your point i got your point yeah. uh, we are calculating this cost function we are calculating this error um, based on this predicted and actual point so um, because we are um, we are uh, like uh, creating that line so that line will uh, give some error like a point will be there and that line that uh, difference that error will, we are calculating but uh, where exactly we are using this cost 
okay this year okay so if we first of all okay I, I got your point what you were trying to say so what is our prediction formula our prediction formula is y is equal to mx plus c right yes we are trying to calculate this y right at the end yes and this is your slope initial was, initial point your slope would be random random value right suppose this yes. is 0 0.1 and this is your x means the x means what this is your input feature right x means your input yes, feature correct. whatever input you are getting from the data set right suppose correct. this is your data set so uh, there would be uh, there would be a uh, i mean input feature and there would be a output feature right yeah area, yeah yeah so take example area area x is area area right so x is your yeah. area okay and what is c c is a intercept so intercept, intercept. this is initial, constant always yeah, constant. it will be same uh, not same but initial point it would be random okay suppose uh, you will you will just define okay initial point uh -huh. you will just define as a random value but after applying gradient descent it will automatically i mean automatically find the actual weight act, actual intercept and i mean slope okay well, which yes. which would be the best fit line okay so it, it will okay. calculate by using gradient descent but now you are defining this yeah, I mean the C and M as a random, as a random value here. Oh, okay. Yes, so yes. now you are considered suppose uh, this is uh, one. Okay. So you are intersected one. So now, if you calculate suppose uh, suppose your x is what? Suppose your x is, x is suppose uh, uh, I mean eight acre. Okay. Your eight oh. area is eight acre, right? So so now what would be the calculation if we calculate that? So y is equal to uh, your m is what? Your m is zero point one, right? And uh, times yes. Your x is uh, what? X is eight, and your uh, c is what? Plus c is one, right? One. So if you uh, calculate that, if you calculate, so this is this would be your answer, right? So th this this yes. this would be your y. <coughs> yes. Okay, this would be your y. Then this is your predicted y. This is a predicted. Yes. That means this is y hat. Okay, this is the predicted y. So first iteration, suppose you have you have calculate. So this is your data. This is your data uh -huh. set. So this is for eight acre we calculated yeah. a y. Yeah, this y is one, this predicted. is two, this is three. Okay. Suppose you have calculated this this one observation. Okay, this one observation. Okay. okay. So there okay. there would be the actual value, right? So suppose the, yes. the actual value is suppose you have got here. Suppose I'm I'm assuming you have got here uh, like a thirty two k, thirty two k price, yes. right? And your actual value was suppose forty k, right? Yes. Forty k. Now what would be the error? Yeah, eight k. Eight k, right? So this is the error. Yes. Your model is perform. Your model is getting this much error. That means this is. I mean, I mean, uh, this is getting eight. I mean, uh, how can I say? It is performing eight eight error, right? Because th there there would be eight eight difference. Okay, from your yes. actual yes. point to your predicted point. Okay. Now we have mm. to reduce the problem. We have to reduce this this much of error. This is the error. Yes. Okay. So we we are we are supposed to decrease this error. Okay. Now you have yes. seen here. I have applied the cost function. Okay. So Correct. This is this is my actual point, and this is uh, sorry. Th this is my actual point. This is my predicted point, and we have sum it yes. up, right? And this is sum of y is equal to one uh, uh, to m, right? So this is the error I'm getting. This yes. is the error. Okay, so this is the error you can say, right? This is the error. Yes. Now, based on this error, we have to update this our C, C. and M. M. Okay, our intercept and slope, yeah. right? Inter 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 yes. Intercept and slope. So, there the gradient descent comes into picture. Okay, so. Yeah. Now, now, are you getting? Why do we use this? Yeah, yeah. Thing? Now this is like, uh, okay. like package. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So mm. now, uh, this was all about the calculating the error. Okay. Now we have to minimize mm. this error. We have to minimize mm. this errors uh, so by using some, I mean, awesome formula. Automatically, it will, it will be able to convert this line. Automatically, it will, it will understand. Suppose uh, this is my line. Automatically, it will, it will understand this is the best fit line. This is the okay, best fit okay. line. Suppose initial condition, your line was in. Okay. But mm -hmm. after after changing the M and C, your line might be that. 
then again uh, we will change the m and c your line might be that at that point yes. you can see this is your best fit line this is your best fit line okay now okay now now let's discuss about gradient descent okay gradient descent gd okay gradient so here one more question bro okay so um, uh, so we use gra so this is i got so now gradient descent so yeah. we use gradient descent gradient to descent. Uh, mm, to to uh, to uh, to reach the gloma minima to reach the I mean uh, to reduce the cost function to reduce the error, okay? Yes, to reduce the error. To reduce the errors, we use gradient descent. Okay, so gradient is a uh, gradient descent is an uh, optimize uh, optimization algorithm. Okay, so it is try to reduce reduce error of any cost function. Okay, so this this was my cost function. Okay, so yes, we, we have. Yes. A, so we, we 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 are seeing that this is our cost function okay cost function yes. this is our error function right so yes based, so so by using this error function we have to also utilize the gradient descent to understand where is the gradient is okay where is the gradient present okay suppose you, okay yes. let me draw a picture okay suppose just as you uh, your cost function i am assuming this is your cost function your cost fun mm. function is, is equal to z theta z theta okay this is your cost function z theta is equal okay. to summation of i is equal to 1 to m uh, i mean uh, y minus y hat to the power whole square right so this is a cost function okay. okay so suppose so this is my cost function z, z theta this is my cost function right we have assumed there this is my cost function yes and yes. suppose th this is my weight this is my weight. Weight means what? Weight means uh, that might be M or that might be C, right? But yes. but initial condition, I am just assuming. Suppose this is just this is just M. Okay. This is suppose this is just M. Your C is constant right now. Okay. You are not uh, changing your C. Okay. Suppose if you consider your C is constant here, but you are just trying to move this slope. Okay. Okay. Initial was just uh, initial condition. Just assume that. Okay. Now, yes, this is your cost and this is your weight. Okay, so now suppose you have assumed your weight as here. Okay, suppose initial condition we have assumed that our weight was 0 0.1, right? We have assumed that. Have you seen that? Yes, here. Uh, where I think, uh, go up little. Okay, I think I had. Yeah, here, zero point one. Yes. Can, can you see? Okay. So suppose uh, in initial condition, we we had assumed our weight was zero point one, right? Zero point one. So at that point, our cost was very high, right? Our cost was around there, right? Around there. Yes. This is our cost. Then suppose we have reduced. Uh, suppose we have ch changed again this uh, weight. Suppose this is the right now. This is the 0 0.01. Okay, 0 0.01. Now my cost is here. Okay, now my cost is here. Now let's assume this is just one. Okay, now my cost is here. Now this is two. Now my cost is here. Now this is three. Again three. This cost cost might be high, right? This cost might be high. Yes. Then again this cost might be high. Now you can see there is a there is a parabolic relationship you can see parabolic relationship if i if yes. i if i join this line you can see this is a parabola okay this is a parabola so exactly yes. this is our gradient curve gradient descent curve in a 2d dimension okay this is our gradient descent curve so now here wh what is the minimum point what is the minimum error here which point uh, one one in one point, this is my minima point, right? This is my minima. Uh -huh. This is my global minima. Global minima. Okay. okay. Because if you if you calculate the slope here, this slope would be zero. Okay. If you cal if you try to draw a tangent line, tangent line. Okay. Tangent line. I think uh, you you know in your geometry classes what is tangent line. Yes. Right? Okay. So yeah. now you can see this line has no slope, right? It's a horizontally straight line, right? It has no slope. But if you calculate at this point, 
a transit line so this is this is the transit line so there you can say there is a slope right there there is some yes. slope so what is the slope here as per your uh, m increasing your slope is also increasing so this is a positive slope right this is a positive slope yes. but suppose if you have considered here you have drawn the transit line here okay now as your uh, i mean uh, m is increasing your slope is also decreasing right yes so slope is also the negative this slope. is a negative slope right so that's how gradient descent try to calculate i mean lots of point okay so it will calculate here it will calculate here then it will check whether uh, its slope is zero or not if it is not zero then it will again calculate here okay if it is not zero then it will again calculate here then at the end it will come here then it will see this slope is zero this slope is equal to zero that means it will automatically understand this is my minima point right this is the less error right this is the okay. less error this is the less error and at that point uh, it will automatically stop there it will automatically stop there right so suppose initial okay. initial point it will come a little bit fast okay it will come a little bit fast then it will be slow it will be slow then it will, yes then it will stack here are you getting correct yes okay it will it will, it will getting here right so yes so okay so 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 this is the i mean reaching uh, i mean reaching cycle you can say okay so we just uh, control it by using a uh, term which is a uh, learning rate okay learning rate uh, we, we use the uh, i mean lambda lambda okay lambda here is a learning rate okay if your lambda is very high then what will happen your i mean this jump will be very very high right this jump will be very very high. it may it may cross the gloma minima because you have okay. taken the high high lambda okay it may come here so then how it, will it, choose lambda lambda it, it's a hyperparameter you have to choose this by using uh, i mean uh, using hyperparameter tuning okay you have to tune it okay, okay so Okay. You, have, you, have, you, you, you are supposed to use a lots of um, lambda here then you will see what is the best lambda what is the good accuracy by using which lambda okay that's how you have to okay. i mean figure out okay so there is no i mean uh, restriction like uh, you have to keep your ran, uh, lambda but but this lambda should be between uh, 0 to minus 1 uh, sorry 0 to 1 okay. okay 0 to 1 you have to keep uh, at, at, at this point okay so suppose if your lambda okay. is very high this jump would be very very high okay so it it may jump here it may jump here it may jump here it may jump here okay so it will never i mean go to this global minima okay it will never okay. go to this global minima but suppose this lambda is very low right now this lambda is very low okay now what will happen initially it will be like it will go like that let me change my color it will go like that then it will be slow very slow okay it may not it may not reach the global minima suppose it is stuck here okay mm -hmm. it has been stuck here but it is it is going so slow okay it is it is going so slow so it may take long time to converse so at the time you can see your model is uh, i mean taking lots of time to train right have you seen that i think okay, okay. yes yes so 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 this is for this lambda okay so uh, most of the people are trying to uh, keep this lambda value uh, very less that at that point your model would be very slow to converse and if you take this lambda value very high your model will be it won't be able to i mean uh, risk at this point at this global minima point okay so this is a problem okay. so that's why we have to set this lambda i mean uh, i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, very effect i mean uh, very effective uh, number which will be able to reach at this point very quickly or i mean how can i say very efficiently okay so that's why you have to tune this alpha okay whenever you are uh, that's why we use this uh, you can say uh, uh, how can i say uh, cross validation okay then we, we use this uh, how can i say uh, hyperparameter tuning okay grid search cv okay so this kinds of stuff we use okay to tune this kinds of parameter okay so now i think uh, yes. You you are you, I think you have understood what is the gradient descent, okay, and how we yes, yes. try to calculate this m and p, okay. So this was yeah. this was based on the two two d, okay. This was based on the two d, okay. Suppose here we had just m value, okay. Now if if we consider the three d, if we consider the three d graph, 
so here we have just m and c right this 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 way yeah. we have now so the dimension would be what dimension would be 3 right so this is this is the three axis so this is this is yes. you can say this is your cost this is your cost okay this is your cost that means uh, this is your cost axis and this is your m axis and this is your c axis okay this is this is okay. the 3d axis okay so this is the 3d axis then you can see this car might look like that okay it's a 3d graph are you getting okay it's a 3d yes. graph that means you can say this is one kinds of a bowl right one kinds of a bowl bowl uh. okay one kinds of a bowl in a 3d in a 3d uh, uh, i mean uh, axis if you if you observe that it's a one kinds of a bowl okay yeah so here we, we just try to at the time what what it will do it will try, try to first of all uh, a, a constant this m value then it will change the c value okay then whenever it will change the c value then it will constant the c value then it will change the m value okay that's how it will uh, uh, simultaneously changing the m and c value then it will it will decide where is the where is my global minima okay where is my global minima? So, so it, it will automatically autom decide, yeah, yeah? Autom automatically it will understand yeah this is my global minima this is my global okay minima. okay by changing this m and c okay are you getting so so one thing so who will uh, give this m and c value mm -hmm. what uh, so who will uh, give this m and c value okay during coding okay during coding uh, it will uh, define uh, uh, default i mean it will define uh, define i mean uh, by default the scalan scalan library okay scalan library okay scalan library it will set the random value first of all then based on this random okay. value it will calculate the error that means your uh, actual value and predicted value whole square right then it will calculate the uh -huh. error based on this error okay it will change your weight it will change your weight are you getting yes 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 okay that's how the total i mean uh, i mean what i mean that's how this total process i mean uh, you, you can say runs in the end to end, uh, yeah. end like to end to end yeah yes. end to end uh, this is the intuition okay now uh, if i uh, write this gradient descent formula okay so if i write this gradient descent formula so gradient descent formula is nothing but uh, it's a formula suppose uh, zd okay zd by derivative uh, derivative of your cost okay suppose t is a cost t is equal to cost okay t is equal to your cost okay. uh, de, uh, based on your w w means your weight weight means uh, this m and c right m and c now suppose i am i'm considering uh, this m and c as a w okay so so that's how we just calculate the derivative okay that's how we just calculate the derivative so if you write this formula so this uh, formula will uh, look like that okay so if you write this formula so this formula will look like that so uh, we, we have shown that uh, we, we are uh, we also use the learning rate okay the learning rate is equal to lambda or alpha okay we, uh, so now just uh, think like this is alpha okay not lambda most of the time we use alpha okay use alpha alpha is a learning rate here learning rate Okay. Okay. Then so uh, uh, minus alpha. Okay, minus alpha because we this is this is a term. Okay, we use minus alpha uh, times derivative of c with respect to w. Okay, so this is our get I mean gradient descent formula. Okay, this is our gradient descent formula. Then we just try to multiply our cost cost here. Okay, this is the this is the cost. Uh, so what what is been that, that means this is the cost, cost mean summation of y is equal to i to m y minus predict okay Th that means this are you getting yes yes okay so if i write it properly so you can see uh, okay it's not working if i write it properly so minus alpha derivative of c with respect to w uh, times uh, submission of i is equal to 1 to m y minus y hat to the power of this guy. This is your GD formula. Okay. Okay. This is your gradient descent formula. So now, based on that, you have to calculate the uh, I mean uh, 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 m and your c. Okay. Now, uh, here I, I can uh, I can break this formula like that. 
with. Uh, I can uh, break this like formula like that. So we have assumed that y is equal to m, m and c, right? Y is equal to m and c. Yes. W is equal to m and c. Okay. So can yes. we write like that? Okay. So, so we can also write like that uh, is equal to uh, minus alpha. So suppose we are calculating the what? First of all, we are calculating the m. Okay, we are calculating the m. Okay, we are calculating yes, yes. the m. Okay, so this is our new m, new m new. Okay, m new. Okay, this is our new slope. Okay, we are calculating the m new. That means new slope. So what would be the formula then? A derivative of cost with respect to what? With respect to m, right? Because first of all, we have to calculate yes. with respect to m. Then we have to calculate with respect to c, right? Because we have uh, two two difference weight, right? Initial Initially, we have just taken this W. W means y, uh, M and C. Initially, we had considered this two, I mean, combined, combined from. But now, we are just breaking, breaking this, I mean, formula, okay? Now, you can see it has become uh, I is equal to 1 to M and Y is equal to, so, what is the Y hat here? Y hat is nothing but, it's a MX plus, uh, MX plus C, right? Because, yes. You are, you are calculating y hat is equal to what? M a, y, y is equal to mx plus c, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. That's why uh, we have just uh, write this, write this, uh, I mean, uh, term here like that. Okay. Then the whole square. Okay. So now this is the, this is your new, new m. This is, uh, this is your new, new m. Now, what is the weight updation rule? Okay. So the weight updation rule is, would be, so you have your old m as well, right? You have your old M as well. So now you have to calculate your new uh, old. I mean, you have to update your old M. So for that, what you will do? You will just uh, uh, subtract your uh, old M by using your old uh, new M. Okay, new. Are you getting? Yes. So yes. this would be your new. This would be a new what? M. This would be a new M. Okay. So that's how you, you will calculate your slope. So m is nothing but it's a slope it's a slope okay. yes now same same you, using this formula you will calculate your c okay you will calculate your c so c new c new we will calculate so what would be my formula alpha minus uh, alpha d c, d c by d dc uh, derivative derivative of c because now m is a constant we are considering just okay. c right now times yes, summation of y by uh, 2 m m uh, y, y minus m x plus c plus right whole square okay whole square. so now uh, first uh, we had our old old c right we had our old c so c now is equal old to c old minus c new old minus c new are you getting yes okay perfect so that's how you have now you have your uh, c new and you have your f new right Okay, so now you have your C and M. Okay, which is which is a new value. Now you, you will again in second iteration you will again use use this C and M to predict your uh, to predict your output. Okay, now you will use this this new. Okay, this new, this new new term. This new was old. Okay. Now now this this would be your uh, I mean uh, prediction prediction formula. Okay, this would be your prediction formula. Y is equal to uh, M new into x plus c new are you getting yes yes this is your final formula okay then you will again compare uh, what 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 would be your this is this is this is your predicted value right this is a predicted value then it will uh, then you will also i mean uh, i mean uh, also see whether it is a uh, actual to our uh, actual value or not okay is there is an error or not okay if it if it is there is an error if it is there is an error, then you will again this uh, again do this whole iteration again. Okay, whatever I have shown till now, then it will again okay. perform this step. Then it will again uh, check whether uh, there is an error or not. Okay, if there is no, I mean, if there is a less error, if there is less error, at at the time this error error would be close to zero. Okay, we can say approximately close to zero, right? Okay, it, it never never would be zero, but it it might be close to zero. Okay. So now 
Close yes. to zero means your you have converged the global minima. Okay, you have converged here. You have reached here. This is your global minima. Yes. Global minima, right? Because there is a less error. Okay, there is a less error. Correct. Now, Correct. now this is the weight. This is the weight you will keep. This is the weight weight you will keep in your future. So whatever new data will come, test data, you will <laughs> use this intercept and you will use this, this m final final yeah, c final new and m new value m new then it, it you will predict the i mean uh, the, uh, on the new data okay now i think you have got the whole intuition right yes 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 okay so now i will show you i have sh i have shown you the intuition okay i have shown you the intuition part now i i, I want to show you how the sqln library works okay how the sqln library has implemented okay so now let's see now we will calculate the derivative okay now i have i have given you the intuition now we will calculate the derivative okay so now first of all okay it's getting hacked okay now we will calculate the slope slope of b so we will not say b so we have taken its uh, m so we will consider it m okay this is m m now we will calculate the m okay so how we can calculate the m so for calculating the m so 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 what what is what is my uh, uh, cost function my cost function was uh, so what is my gradient descent first of all so i i have told you suppose uh, now just consider your gradient descent is uh, uh, del del c c by dlm uh, dl uh, m. m right dlm is equal to uh, so uh, near, I will just uh, calculate this m. Okay, now just uh, uh, I have written like that, but now consider del m, right? Now I have I haven't taken that part. Okay, now just uh, what is your cost function here? I is equal to one to m, right? Y, y minus y i minus y i hat y hat uh, y hat whole square square right? Th this is this is your cost function. Okay, my okay. Hand, hand writing is not good. Uh, don't worry. So uh, then, now th this is the equation. Okay, this is the equation. Then I have to use the derivation. Okay, I have to use the derivative. Now we can say I have to use the chain rule to solve this problem. Okay. Now we'll, I will okay. use the chain rule. Okay. So I think uh, you know about chain rule. Okay. It's a, I mean, uh, uh, it's a rule. Okay. So if you know, don't know, I think you can search on uh, I mean YouTube later. Okay. Then you will understand what is chain rule. Okay. So I will calculate the derivative here by using chain rule. So what what I will do, I will just uh, simply write uh, del by del m equal to. Uh, so first of all, uh, let me let me write this value. So this is a predicted value, right? This is a predicted value. Yes. Y hat. Predicted value uh, was what? M x b right? C. C c right? Uh. This is a predicted value. So now we can write y i. Okay, so I, I'm not assuming the. Okay, so let me keep this summation out there. Okay, let me keep this uh, summation out there. Okay, now so what is our y hat? M x i minus c, right? Are you getting? Yes, and square. E square, then e square. Now uh, if I apply the chain rule, first of all, uh, this uh, two will be here. This two will be out. Okay, so this two will yes. be out. Then uh, my uh, summation was x equal to m. Then it will be as it is. Okay, it will be as, as it is. Okay. Then again, uh, again we have to uh, again we have to use the derivation formula here. Okay. So if we if we de 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 derivative. Okay. So we are derivating by using what respect to m, right? Using m, okay. Yes. So now we will find what is the m. So here is the m, okay. So here is the it m. Is, no, no. It would be minus one. Where you will find the m, it would be minus yes. one. one, okay. But yes. re rest of the thing will be zero, because yes. because yes. it will just consider the m, okay. If we know the derivative formula, 
it will consider yes. just just them not not just the yeah, I mean, it, other will, it will actually yeah. it will derivative with respect to m with, with respect so to other m. thing will be okay. zero, zero and that uh, m yeah right it will take based on that uh, parameter yeah like so now, x square now, or what yeah now uh, let me write now two summation of i is equal to 1 to m uh, so it, it would be zero right it would be zero yes uh, but then minus we, one okay so let me Okay, so no, no, not it would be zero. But it it will it will be here, but we we have to write. I mean, out there. Okay, so it would be like uh, y one, uh, y i minus uh, uh, m x i by c. Okay, now we have calculated this this derivative, right? So so mm. this is this is zero. This is zero, right? Then mm. then my x1 is also 0, right? Mm. Then my c is also 0, right? So, yes. Then no. How x1 will be 0? x1 x will be 0 now. Uh, okay, so now, now just consider this m, okay? Now just consider uh. because we are derivating this by using m with respect to m, right? Yes. So, rest of the yes. thing would be 0, right? Now, yes. what is left? So, m. A, so, uh, what is the derivative of m by m? A, m m with respect to m. It is a minus one, right? Yes. Because there is minus, uh, that would be one, right? Yes. So, so this is the one. Are you getting? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now we will uh, just uh, bring this one at the front. Okay. So now minus two. I have just taken this minus uh, minus uh, in front of yes. the two. Okay. Now I will just write summation of y i is equal to one to m, then rest of the thing will be similar x i minus c okay so this is our actual formula so you can see in xcalon they are using this formula for calculating the slope okay so for, for calculating the slope of m okay this is the actual formula okay, okay. now what is the weight update, weight update rule so the weight update rule is m new sorry m m old m old m old Equal to m old m m m old minus, minus m, m, m new m new m new is what this is m new right this is m new uh, right uh. this is the m new okay but here we can we can just write just m new here we have to also add the learning rate because I have shown you you have to set the learning rate because what what would be the speed okay Learn, learning rate means what would be the speed okay. Lambda. Yeah, lambda. No, no, sorry. Uh, alpha, alpha. Yes, yes, lambda. Alpha. alpha. Like, if you want to reach reach this point, so okay, so, okay, so what would be mm. the speed? Okay, what what would be the how how quickly you want to speed? Okay, so that mm. decides this alpha. Okay, so alpha yeah. you have to set. So for that, just you have to just uh, I mean uh, uh, keep your alpha here. Then you will just multiply your alpha using your new m. Okay, that means m okay. new. Are you getting? M new means what? Yes. It's a slope. Nothing but it's a slope. Okay. Yes. Not, it's a slope. Okay. So this is the formula Escalon is using. Now I have calculated the slope. That means M. Or M. Now I have to also calculate the C because right? Yeah. Because I think same way it will be. Same way. Yeah. Same way. Yeah. I, I think you are getting right. Now. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now we will calculate the slope. Uh, not slope. Just wait. Wait. Weight of yeah, what? Intersect. Weight is intersect. C or intersect. You can say inter. Uh, mm. Intercept, right? Now we will calculate the C. So for calculating the C, okay. That's fine. So now. Now, uh, what is what is what is my derivation? My derivation is a derivative of cost DC function by dm with respect to what? With respect to c. M. Now, okay. Suppose this is a cost. Okay, so this is the cost. Okay, c. okay, okay. So this is this is a big c and this is a small c. Okay, suppose just okay. consider. Okay, this is a c. Now let's assume cost cost is equal to what? Cost is equal to l. Okay, just uh, just okay. for confusion, cost is equal to l, uh. and this is your c. Okay, this is your c. Now we have to also compute the c. Okay, so for so for computing the c, what is what is my cost function? I is equal to one. I equals to m. one to m. 
Y I minus M X I minus M X plus M X I plus C square, right? M X I plus C, na? Yeah. Plus plus. Oh yeah, I missed out. Sorry, plus. Okay. Microsoft Quiet is getting hacked. Okay. <clears throat> now, let me write uh, a derivative of L with respect to C. Okay. Now, so what what would be the what would be the derivation so for that this uh, two will come here right this two will come here then summation of i is equal to 1 to m right then uh, yes. it will as it is mx i then if i again this uh, apply this formula then what will happen so uh, so so this will be again that like a uh, so uh, it will be not minus na uh, and that's just a calculation purpose. I've just keep the minus. Okay, just just for the calculation purpose You can you can you can consider also plus here. Okay, but I have just uh, keep the minus here for the calculation purpose for me Okay, okay. just uh, just okay. assume that okay uh, Because uh, I think uh, first of all I have shown you by using minus so that's why I'm just keeping it minus. Okay uh, Okay, okay, so now just uh, it will be also like uh, if you uh, calculate the derivative with respect to uh, sorry it would be c it would be c yes with c so most of the term would be what it would be zero right it would be zero yes and it would be just minus one minus one yes minus one okay it would be minus one so we can write like that minus two y i m x i uh, m x i minus c minus one okay because I have calculated this term is minus c okay minus c now mm. we will write okay i have uh, okay I, you have taken left side okay fine okay okay uh, let him uh, yeah just uh, then this minus will come here then y minus mx i minus c okay so yeah so this is this is the actual formula but we have to also multiply by xi okay this is this is just for intersect okay this is the rule yes exactly this yes. is the rule okay we have to also multiply uh, once one second okay so uh, why we are multi multiplying with the uh, x XI. okay x is our that uh, dependent yeah. variable yeah. no no x Sorry, is independent, independent variable. variable yeah because this is yes. the this is the formula this is the formula the researcher have taken okay researcher have taken you have to okay whenever you are just trying to uh, calculating this intersect because your intersect sometimes might be zero. Okay, your intersect sometimes might be zero. Suppose your line is this. Okay, your line is this. Okay. So okay. this is this is zero at that point, right? So if it is zero, so there there won't be any value, right? This term would be okay. totally zero. So so okay. just uh, keeping just a small amount of value, then just try to keep this x i. Are you getting? Okay. okay okay because this is the formula they have driven okay this is I, i'm not saying that okay that's the, i'm okay. i have also learned that so just okay. try to remember whenever you are just trying to calculating this intersect you have to multiply using okay. the xi okay xi xi okay. means each of the inter uh, i mean each of the observation each of the items yes. from yeah i got it got okay. it okay now this is the formula this is the formula for uh, c Okay, now just uh, let me remove that because we will utilizing when when we will cut that. Okay, this is the formula. Now, what what is my update rule? Weight update rule. So weight update rule would be B old. Sorry, not B old. C old, I think. Because C old. Yeah. Equals to C old minus C new. Uh, okay, C old. Is equal to C old minus learning rate times C new. Oh. C new means this is the C we are calculating, yes. right? This is the C. So this is my weight update rule. 
okay so by using this four formula we will code we will code our actual scalar class whatever they have coded in the scalar library of a linear regression okay so this is the intuition behind the scalar i think i'm showing you the implementation as well okay now you don't yes, you don't yes. have any confusion like how they have implemented okay first of all you have yes, yes. how this code is working now you don't have any problem i think because now you you know what is the equation they are getting what is the equation now, they are getting now, now background i got it yeah background you got it then i think yeah so that's how actually you you should learn each and every, each and every algorithm that's how you should learn whenever you just try to learn the intuition behind that what is happening okay behind that uh, then you will properly understand yeah this is the problem that's why i am getting this much of error that's why i am getting this much of accuracy what should be my yes. uh, further step what should be i do what should be the uh, hyperparameter tuning okay but i have just uh, yeah first of the thing i have forgotten uh, about linear regression uh, because i have been uh, revised for a long time okay that's why i couldn't show most of the interesting thing also but uh, if i get time i will show i mean uh, uh, more i mean interesting thing but this, yeah, this is the yeah, yeah yeah this is the I'll, uh, uh, yeah to learn uh, by myself yeah. uh, i'll try to learn it better okay. like uh, i i think uh, now i got like a full okay. package full whatever package. i my expectation is beyond but okay. but i have i have i have just uh, shown you by just uh, just by using this two variable one is independent correct one is dependent so i i was supposed to ask this question okay. but It, there yeah. might be lots of feature there might be lots of independent feature okay. so yeah. at that point what you would, what it will be do okay so at the, so at that point we, we will call it as a multiple linear regression okay so at that time the formula yes. would be mx1 suppose uh, Plus MX not, not mx suppose i will just uh, keep it okay m1 x1 okay suppose you have One, two, three, four. Okay, you have just four variables, and one is dependent variable, right? Are you getting? Yes. So, so this is this is your first variable. So first variable, it will it will multiply using what slope, right? M one. Yes. Then, then it will again plus. Again M M one. M two plus M one. M two then X two, then again yes, plus yes. M three, X three, and so on. Amen. Yes. Excel. Are you getting? Plus C. Okay. Then plus plus C, right? Yeah. So this would be your multiple linear regression. Okay. Multiple linear regression. But now I am showing you the simple linear regression. Yes. Because now we have just one one independent feature and one dependent feature. But whenever you have n n number of dimensions, at that time your equation should be like that. Okay, now you can you can also write y is equal to summation of m i x i. Okay, m i x i plus c. Yes. Can you write like that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's how your implementation implementation should be also like that. Okay, but now I'm just okay. giving you the because uh, higher dimension we can visualize. Okay, that's why I have shown you the simple linear regression. Okay, I think you got it. Okay, now yes, yes. now we will code. Okay, we will code from scratch. Okay, whatever we have derived from till uh, till now, we will code it up. Okay. So, okay, J. Okay, now that will be uh, helpful. Uh, let me open my Jupyter. I think I haven't opened yet. Okay. 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 I think. Can I come back? Let me change my directory. Okay. Any else project you are doing? What? Uh, any other project? uh any other project uh, not now because uh, you know uh, we have started cnn from today uh, so okay. there are lots of you know uh, theory we have to understand first of all i am just trying to focus on that because uh, you know and uh, the 30 days interview preparation is also having okay so that's why i am what the what they are saying after 30 days you will get job or uh, what no actually they are just uh, i mean showing why you are just uh, i mean getting mistake okay like uh, what is the mistake of your resume what should be the project you should mention on your resume okay so every an okay. interview question okay what would be the interview question what would be the interview uh, uh, i mean the task okay so in uh, whenever you will go uh, for an interview they will give you some task okay to solve like they they can give you some okay. data set now they may uh, raise some questions like you have to solve it okay 
then you have to solve it if you are able to solve it then you will uh, 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 get the next call okay so that's how i think a uh, whole process we are getting like uh, how industry looks for a data scientist okay so that's how okay. yeah you can say that we are preparing good. but uh, I one thing uh, tell but I haven't uh, finished my uh, ML and DL course uh, yet, so that's why I'm having some trouble because uh, Dan Susar is uh, like uh, giving, uh, you know, most uh, difficult, difficult task to solve. But, uh, you know, I, I'm not able to solve because I haven't completed the NLP and the computer vision as well as, uh, I mean, the uh, implementation oh. of, uh, I mean, the end to end projects I haven't finished. Oh, Sudansu is uh, conducting that. Yeah, yeah. Sudansu is conducting personal. Sudansu and the Krishna expert. Yeah. So, so yeah, and uh, they are they are also I mean uh, uh, announced uh, the uh, our challenge. Okay, they have uh, I mean given given a challenge. Okay, so if we are able to uh, solve the challenge, so <laughs> they will give uh, top five uh, ten thousand INR. Okay, so this is the channel uh, challenge. Uh, I think Sudhanshu sir also. Uh, okay, so Sudhanshu sir also has given uh, us a challenge. Okay, so uh, they have given some interview questions uh, from different different company, uh, which is a. Uh, 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 got recently okay from students uh, of Pioneer and they have given us uh, these questions uh, to solve okay they want to solve uh, I mean uh, I mean uh, uh, solve by us okay so if you are able to solve these questions so if you are uh, win this uh, challenge the so top file will get the uh, 10,000 INR 10,000 INR okay uh, I think uh, uh, not 10,000 I think they will get internship no internship not uh, I think uh, Sudhansu sir, I think uh, most of, uh, I mean, uh, I think uh, he has uh, announced it live, right? Uh, today, I think in um, the class also, but, he was saying like, no, no. Uh, uh, in our, you will get in time. No, 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 in, in our, in our uh, uh, I mean, 30 days preparation classes, they have, uh, I mean, uh, he has uh, told that he will uh, give the 10,000 INR for, for, for our best, I think. Uh, it has, it has been announced for all batches, okay, uh, uh, I okay. mean, for, for public also, because Sudhansu sir also announced this challenge for public also in, in his YouTube channel. Yes, in YouTube. Yeah. Yes. That's why I, I think uh, uh, for I mean uh, for another person, I think uh, he may give the internship opportunity. I think. Yeah. Okay. But in our batches, mm -hmm. we are getting this uh, ten thousand INR. But I think uh, I would be able to get because <laughs> I'm a beginner. Hey, at <laughs> least hey, don't fit in like that, Ra. You uh, crack that uh, thirty days interview. That is great for you. Yeah, that is. Uh, uh, that is uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh. I'm, I'm having lots of you know, um, you know, how I say opportunity. I mean, uh, to learn lots of most of the thing. Okay, like how, yes, yes. how to crack. And I have uh, built up my resume also. You know, in the meanwhile. Uh, so you do everything later you will help me i am i'm happy whatever you are getting i'm happy okay, okay thank you and uh, i can get also another course which is uh, launching from 10th april uh, you can say which is ai ops uh, ai operation uh, okay so what is that uh, you can see on the portal i think ai operation in the data science uh, section you can find so this is the i think uh, it, it will be based on the totally operation like a uh, uh, how can we uh, perform the uh, ci cd pipeline oh, can, uh, yeah what is you, uh, what is the cloud yeah what is the cloud uh, computing then what is the uh, what should be your uh, operating system like linux they are going to uh, teach okay so you, you can search there are lots of and this is the uh, this will be conducted by sunny sir also i think and uh, and i have uh, submitted the second round uh, you know assignment also <laughs> let's see if i get so I think uh, I will get two course. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now let's start. Um, okay, now let me go to my opening. I need one machine learning. Let me code here. You have created everything, eh? Super. Not everything. Just, uh, I am just, uh, you know, decorated my system, you can say. For that like uh, okay. whatever I am trying to find so, okay. so my uh, class uh, name is we are call it linear regression linear uh, right. linear regression model okay. uh, give me two minutes I want to have some water yes yes please
Hey, are you there? Yes, yes, bro. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, first of all, let me make some, uh, you know, uh, regression data. Okay, so for that, I will use uh, scalar from scalar. Scalar. Okay, scalar. Uh, dot data set so uh, one more thing bro yeah. uh, so what is this um, r square and uh, one more thing was there uh, uh, r, r, square. r square okay r square and i think another is uh, Okay, I will tell you, uh, you just first of all learn the linear regression properly. Then I think if you go through the lecture, then I, you can, I mean, integrate with them. Okay. Okay. R square means you are just uh, uh, trying to see your model, how your model is, uh, I mean, fitted yeah, I mean, uh, to, the, uh, I mean, to the data set. Okay, so how, like uh, I have shown you, like uh, uh, this line would be, uh, uh, I mean, try to, uh, I mean, uh, try to get the best fit line, right? So, like okay. by using R square, you can check the line has fitted properly or not okay so okay, this, okay. this is the one kind of analysis you can perform on linear regression okay okay okay, okay. okay. Now, this to was saying one day that's why yes yeah yeah but uh, just to go through the lecture i think uh, sudan susar explained has sudan susar has explained it in a proper way okay so now let's make uh, a regression uh, regression data i'm just uh, creating my custom data okay i'm not taking any uh, okay. fancy data Regression, regression, then import, import matplotlib dot five part as PLD, then import numpy. Let's me also import because we will also you know uh, check uh, the uh, linear regression actual class from Excalant. We'll compare our our uh, custom uh, model to the Excalant model. Okay, we'll see okay. like uh, our custom model is working fine or not. Okay, now whatever we are trying to implement right now, we'll just compare with the actual Excalant library. Okay, okay, just okay. we will see. So for that, just uh, let's import Excalant dot linear model input linear regression why it is doing like that Valid. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to write form. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's why. Linear regression. That's fine. Okay, make regression. Okay, I have. Now let's uh, define our, uh, you know, uh, independent variable. Then our uh, dependent variable because uh, uh, make regression always. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, returns two kinds of data. One is your x and one is your y. Okay, that means uh, if you consider okay. the uh, area and price, so a, uh, x will store the area and y will store the price. Okay, so I'm just yeah. using okay. custom data. Uh, then uh, regression. Regression. Then I will just like right in at the store uh, sample. I will just uh, take the sample size hundred. Then in at the store feature. This in sample uh, same, content, this same, hundred. Uh, okay, hundred means you have just a hundred observation. Okay. 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 
and n feature is like a, you have just one feature which is your price feature you can say okay okay and uh, n underscore uh, informative so these are some parameter you have to pass whenever you are just trying to creating the custom data okay so you can okay, okay. think like that now i have to uh, also define my target so my target would be one which is a price you can say then some noise i will improve because uh, I, I have shown you like there might be some outliers also okay so in every data yes, set yes. we can see some outliers so i will just uh, noise some like let's say 20 noise i have added then let's say random state okay so random state equal just uh, let's say uh, 30 what is it a random state random state means uh, it's a one kinds of key okay if i used a uh, random state is equal to 30 13 so if you use my code if you use also random uh, state is equal to 13 so you will get the actual data which i have got right now because make regression is uh, when you will run this make regression you will get another kinds of data if you run it again then you will get another kinds of data it will randomly generate it okay but if you if you uh, set this random state equal to what whatever number it's a one kinds of key because i have just taken 13 if you want if you want my code to, to be a 13 you uh, your code also so you can set this 13 otherwise then, you can then why why are you not making 100 yeah you can also make it 100 there is no restriction but i have just uh, you know just for the i mean like, how can i say i have i've also take it zero okay i have also take it zero no matter i have also take it 42 okay, okay. but most of the thing okay. most of the times you can say uh, this people are will take 13 or uh, for, uh, 42 or uh, zero okay this kinds of number they usually take that's why i have just taken okay, okay. yeah okay Not anything else. so now i will just run it so after run it you, if you if i show you the x so this is my x okay this is my you can say area okay and this is my price okay this is also price okay so these are two okay. variables i am getting now let's uh, let's plot the data okay i told you uh, uh, this 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 might be this must be linear okay so let's see uh, is it linear or not okay so now plt dot plot not plot just i will say scatter scatter then i will pass x and y okay now let's run see it's a linear relationship okay are you getting so yes. if we if we if we are able to draw a straight line between that so my problem would be solved right so th that's yes. li li linear regression will do okay so yes. now i got my <clears throat> okay now let's uh, first of all divide the data into train and test set i think you know from uh, scalar uh, dot linear model uh, i will uh, not linear model i think model selection i also forget yes. sometimes because there's a huge library <laughs> we can't remember it uh, input uh, train test display i think you know about train test display right yeah i, I didn't use because i like uh, i'm not yet uh, started coding and all Train test um, split mean I think you are just keeping your training data uh, aside uh, and as well as your testing data aside. Okay. By using training data, yes. you will train your model, and the testing data you will test your model for yes. evaluating. Okay. How it is performing? Yes. So X train and uh, X test, then Y train. Okay. Y train and the Y test. Okay. So Y test. Then I will just write train test is split then i will just pass my x and y because these are my data then i will just define my test size uh, uh, so usually we just uh, keep the test size uh, between uh, you know 70 percent uh, or uh, you know 20 percent you can say test size test size is equal to 0 0.2 that means i am keeping the 20 percent data of uh, for my testing purpose okay now okay. you can also define the random state here because i told you random state means you are just yes. uh, you know you can also define or not define it's up to you uh, let's say random state equal to uh, let's say two zero or two let's say okay just i'm just keeping random so if you if you use also two then you will get the uh, whatever data i'm getting right now you will also get this data but if you change this value then you will get different kinds of data okay 
this this is the okay thing. now let's run it now let's see uh, what is the size of my explain dot share also check my is sorry x test dot share So yeah, uh, you can see uh, my training data is uh, 80. Okay, uh, I mean we have taken the sample size 100. So from 100 we have taken yes. eight, uh, 18. That means 80 percent of the data for my uh, training purpose and 20 percent data for my testing purpose. Okay, and uh, this is this is my shape of the data because I have just uh, I'm having just uh, one feature. I mean two feature. Okay, one yes, is yes, yes. Uh, yeah. I, I think you have uh, understood. Okay. Now let's uh, train it by using uh, first of all linear regression. Then see uh, what should be the, my uh, yeah output. So let's uh, LR. LR means linear regression, which is SQL and linear regression. First of all, we will use okay, and then yeah, I have created the object. Then LR dot fit. I will just fit the my data in that. So I will fit my X train and my y train as well y train means our output okay that that means our price and x train that means the area okay just consider like that so if i uh, train it let's run it so it has been trained now let's say the let's see the uh, i mean parameter okay so wh what is uh, the intercept and what is the uh, i mean uh, slope they have predicted okay then we will yes. predict the exact same thing okay Taylor dot uh, bit so if I you know if I uh, press uh, shift tab here so you can see uh, there are lots of uh, you know parameter okay so by default you can yeah. see uh, by default there are lots of parameter you can see okay so you can read there okay in jobs then rank singular is in intercept okay by default intercept would be uh, false that means uh, set zero zero okay by default they have set zero zero okay like random okay. But uh, after training the data, it will calculate by gradient descent. Then it will, uh, I mean, optimize the cost function. Then it will decide the, I mean, uh, your weight. Okay, so that's how it okay. will calculate. So each and everything they have written here. You can uh, go gone through that. I think that would be more. Uh, I mean, yeah. So you can see there are uh, some value which is a uh, uh, intercept and one is a uh, where uh, coefficient. Yeah. Uh, on this coefficient coefficient means the slope okay coefficient uh, underscore yes. coefficient means the slope and the intercept mean your intercept okay so these yes. are some parameters let's say what is what is what are the parameter okay so now lr dot uh, i will say uh, coefficient okay Co coef so coef underscore so yeah you can say th this is this is my slope okay i'm getting this is my slope after calculating my after after applying gradient descent because i my model train has been done okay initial yes. initial condition you, you can see these were zero zero in the scalar they have considered but yes now it has been 28 because it, it has learned properly then it, it it has decided like yeah 28 it's the proper uh, weight that can be minimized the cost function okay that's why they have said that okay i think you are getting so my now my m is uh, 28 28 that means your slope is 28 okay. right now okay after calculating mm. the whole process okay now we will also check the uh, intercept intercept okay so now let's see yeah okay so your, your, your intercept intercept is minus 2 okay minus 2.27 this is your intercept okay so this is from the uh, actual scl so minus language. 2 in the sense it uh, came it in is. that uh, below line below uh, below line yeah. Yeah, because you know, if, if it is, if it is like that. So if you if you try to draw, okay, let me open my pen. I pick pen. You have installed some pen also. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, sometimes I used to need that. But suppose yeah. Suppose what is the best fit line? This is the best fit yes. line, right? So where it is intersecting, minus two. Yes. Right. So that's yes. why. That's why I'm getting minus two. 
Are you getting whatever theory yes, yes. theory we have learned till today? It is it is the yeah. similar, right? Yeah. So this yes. is this is from the actual Escalon library. Okay. This is this is from the actual Escalon library linear regression. Okay. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they have implemented that. Now we will implement mm -hmm. our custom uh, linear regression model by using code. Okay. okay. By using Python. Then we will compare whatever they are getting, whether I am getting or not. Okay. Because I have told okay. you okay. internally Escalon using this 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 theory whatever we have learned till today. Uh, I mean. Yes. Till yes. Now. Okay. So now we will use this theory. Okay. So, so in um, real time, like in uh, companies, uh, how they are doing? They are using Escalon uh, library. Most of, or the, they most, are of the, most of the people using Escalon because whenever you have the, I mean, the cooked food. So why you will again cook that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. This is the thing, uh. right? Because uh, if I talk about in 2016 or 2015, at that time, uh, this library wasn't available. Okay, so. At the time, the people used to write this kinds of code, okay. But mm, now okay, it's, okay. it has been available by using high API like Escalon, TensorFlow, PyTorch. Okay, so we have lots of libraries. So why you are supposed to write this kinds of code for uh, scratch? Okay, mm, and yes. they have written it in an optimized way. Okay, they have uh, uh, implemented lots of data structure in between them. Okay, so you are not supposed to worry about. It. Just call it and do your job done. Okay, yeah, that's way. Now let's uh, create our custom. So I will just uh, about custom linear regression. Linear uh, regression. Then I will comment it out. Now let's our okay. Just please one minute. Okay, let's implement. So I think you know the OOPS concept, right? Yes. Okay. So I have, uh, uh, I will define a class. So let's uh, call it linear regression. Okay, linear uh, regression. Okay, linear regression. Uh, not like that. Yeah, linear regression. Then I will just define the constructor. I think you know what is the constructor in it. Yes. This is a constructor. So in it, uh, it takes self. I think uh, you know whatever self. So, but what yes. we are supposed to pass, I have told you, uh, we are supposed to pass the learning rate because it, it has to be decided by human. Okay, it has to be designed by us. Okay, so that's why we have to okay. pass the learning rate and the epochs. Okay, epochs means what is the iteration will be because you know most of the time you, you are not supposed to uh, wait for your code. To um, I mean to converse because it may take a long time okay but that's why you have to define some epochs okay so epochs is also hyperparameter tuning you can go through 100 epochs you can go through 200 epochs you can go through 1500 epochs it's up to you but you have to decide by so suppose you have you have got a good accuracy by using just uh, uh, I mean uh, how can I say uh, 100 epochs okay so why you will use that 200 epochs because 200 epochs will be taking more time right that's why yes, you, are getting, yes. you are getting at least good accuracy by using 100 epochs. Okay, so you are not supposed to use 200 epochs. Okay, so this is a hyperparameter tuning you can tune. Okay, but in Excel and I think they are using also 100 epochs. I think okay, if you uh, go to the documentation, Excel and documentation in the linear regression, I think uh, you can see they are utilizing I think uh, uh, in number of epochs I think 100. I don't know, but uh, let's see. Uh, well, what should be our epochs? Okay, so. Uh, 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 based on the epochs and based on the learning rate, we can uh, actually tune this kinds of value. Okay, uh, whatever they are okay. getting. Okay. Now let's see. So now I will set the learning rate. So learning rate, learning. Learning rate is the that uh, alpha, yeah, right? Alpha. Yeah, the alpha. Because uh, mathematically we can call it alpha, but whenever we are coding, so we, we yes. have to write it. Yeah, I think you are getting. So learning rate by default, I'm not getting. Uh, I'm not giving anything. And let's say epochs. Epochs means I think you know what is the iteration, right? Epochs. Yes. Uh, in deep learning, we so usually call it. So once again, once again. So we do this epochs iteration to get um, that uh, gradient I mean, descent or minimum. Eh? Yeah, I think you are doing this. Uh, you are doing this. Epochs means you are trying to. 
you are trying to perform your for loops right for loops yes for yes loops. Mane, how many times this for loop will be run running right yeah got it got it okay got it because it, gradient descent what it does it just try to calculate the error based on this error it will just try to update your weight okay in every iteration yes, yes. and how many iteration it will consider it's up to you okay if yes. you think it's a simple problem then it may take long time it may take long iteration to predict right so that's why yes. it's up to you okay so uh, yeah we have defined the epochs also then let's say let's define the variable self uh, m m is a slope right m is a slope so first of all let's say uh, we'll define the uh, slope let's say 0, 0.0 let's say 0 okay let's say 0 we have defined it and because it's up to you. you you can set randomly okay but by default it will be convert uh, okay it okay. will be updated you have to define this uh, learning weight and uh, epochs also inside that constructor constructor yeah because I'm just uh, keeping some variable. Uh, keeping keeping some variable in my constructor because further I will use that. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. By using some function, because uh, in the class there would be lots of function you will write. Okay. Because uh, we are just uh, trying to code the modular code. Because you can see here I have just taken the linear regression. Then I have just fit. Yes. We'll also write the yes. fit function and we'll also write the predict function. Okay. Like linear regression, whatever they have written. Okay. So. Yes. Now let's uh, define the C. C is an intercept, right? So let's say C is a. Let's say C is equal to. Let's say randomly I have taken hundred. Okay, let's say I have taken hundred, and uh, the C is equal to minus, uh, one hundred twenty. Okay, let's say, because uh, we are not uh, supposed to wait a long time because uh, I have taken the large value. It will automatically, uh, converts. Okay. Now let's uh, define your self dot lr. Lr means your learning rate. Okay. Now learning rate yes. is equal to it will come from here. Okay. This is your learning rate. Yes. Uh, then self dot epox. Dot uh, epox equal to epox. Epox is equal to epox. Okay. So I have done the uh, uh, my constructor. constructor. Then I will just uh, write the what function. So in class in a every class every algorithm class there would be two function okay one is a fit function and what is a, one is a predict function in every in every uh, i mean uh, api in every algorithm function you, you will find this two function one is a fit fit means you are training you are trying to training okay on your okay. training data and whenever you, your train has been done so you are, you are supposed to predict okay on the new data yes. so you, you need yes. a pre predict also because yes. we are defining some object okay so whatever object we, we can think we just uh, define by using the oops concept okay so i think you have learned the oops concept okay that's why yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we will just uh, define the fit okay so fit what it takes it will take the self definitely and it will also take your x x means your training data right and y yes right okay then just now we will just calculate okay now calculate calculate thing this is the calculator uh, calculation loop okay this is the calculation loop in b okay i think uh, okay. yeah let me comment out so from this part we will calculating the exact uh, equation whatever we have driven till now okay so now uh, this calculation how long it will be gone based on our epochs right because whatever we yes. epochs we will define so based on this epoch it will be calculating okay and uh, i mean yes uh, 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 i mean on this time okay so now uh, define uh, a for, for i loop, in epochs for i in not epochs range in epochs i think uh, range range in epochs okay range uh, self because uh, it's a variable yes, it's a correct, class correct. variable okay self in range Sorry, box. Self not epox. Epox. Okay. So we have uh, defined our epox. Now let's. Uh, what, what? Now, this is this is the loss slope. Okay. This is the loss slope. So, because you know we are calculating what. If I go to the board, this is our first equation, right? This is our first equation. Yes. So we are calculating m here, right? Hmm. Not yeah, I have defined loss m. Yeah, we are calculating m. Okay, first of all, we have to calculate the m. So, what is the m here? Okay. 
m a, m is a what is this it's a slope we are getting right correct it's a slope we are getting okay so that's why uh, let me write slope m okay slope hmm. m i think that would be good okay slope m. yeah anything fine okay now let's us loss m okay i'm just defining loss m loss m now what is what was my formula my formula was yeah, minus, minus two, 2 summation of i is equal to 1 to m okay 1 to m means huh. uh, how many observation you have till now you will go yes. right then y i is yes. equal to mx i, I minus, c. minus c right okay so now we will exactly write this formula here okay we will not hmm. edit it just exactly write this formula here okay so what was my formula minus 2 minus 2 so here we will just uh, calculate in just one line i think you know numpy numpy we can yes. calculate by using one byte just if we, if we use sum okay if you use this sum function so it will automatically sum it up whatever whatever yes. it will calculate it will automatically sum it up because at the end wh what we are trying to do we are trying to sum it up right we are trying to yes. sum it up each and everything because we are trying to get the average average loss okay average loss from this yes. equation right so that's why we are summing it up sum, summing it up okay so okay let me sum now what we are supposed to sum so our actual because this is our actual value right why is our actual mm. value because this is the equation uh, you have driven yes this is the yes. equation actual right this is the actual mm. that's why we are minus yeah because see here where sorry sorry that last second, last second. Okay. See here, I have written y. I I means mm. it is considering every every observation, right? But in NumPy, yes. you, you know, in NumPy, it consider a particular array. Okay, so it will consider the whole array and it will sum it up once. Okay, so this is the okay, okay. this is the advantage of NumPy. But if we yes. if we were to use this list, just a uh, just a default list so th at that time we have to also iterate the number through the for loops but in numpy we are, we are not supposed to write like that okay so i think if you know the numpy so i think uh, you can relate that okay uh, yes yes okay. so let me write so uh, this is my actual value now actual from actual value we will divide uh, not divide yeah we will divide our what our prediction value right so what is the prediction yes. value prediction value is self self dot, dot m m sorry sorry self yeah m into x yeah because this is our uh, y is equal to mx right this is the mm. this is the formula so m at times uh, times uh, what x right because a, x x is our x is our what x is our input right mm. okay then I will just uh, ravel it. Okay, I will just ravel it. Ravel means I am just keeping it as a one dimensional. Okay, I am just keeping it as okay. a one dimensional because there might be some dimensional issue. Okay, that's why I don't want my code. Code will be like a you know code will be like a uh, uh, code will be facing any issue. Okay, so that's why I am just ravel. Then then, then you have to do y dot uh, ravel. No no y y is a you know y okay. Suppose why we use Ravel. So suppose A in X, there might be two dimensional array, right? Because there might be two 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 input feature. Suppose price and number of home, right? Okay. Like okay. That. Okay. Okay. So that so this is this is good practice. Okay, Ravel. If you if you can search. If so you will do Ravel, then what will happen? It will just uh, keep. It is uh, just uh, in one dimensional. Like it will it will not get any issue. Okay. Like most of the thing like uh, uh, you know. Pandas gives uh, most of the. I think you should start some rabbit. Okay, so I think you will get understand proper understanding. Okay. okay, okay. Uh, I don't. Okay. I don't even. Uh, I don't remember right now. But uh, I think the. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get it. Okay. So rabbit. So minus. Then self. Minus self dot c. Self dot c. Right. Self dot c. Because we have defined the c here. Okay. So yeah, this is the equation. This is the equation. Uh, yeah, we have written. Okay, this is the whole equation. So now, this equation means we are getting what? We are getting m. Okay, we are getting m, m. slope, slope new new m. 
new yes. m right okay new m new m yes okay so this new m uh, we have to update the rules but first of all we have calculated the m that means our slope yes so simultaneously we have to also calculate what our intercept because yeah this is the intercept formula and these are yes. these, these are almost same but we have to just add this xi externally yes right yes so we, we will also write that because we are writing uh, modular coding so that's why simultaneously we will also write like that because it will calculate yes uh, one by one right so let's say huh? uh, so let, let's say this is a slope okay this is slope at slope m intercept c and this is an intercept okay intercept. So i think that would be good to understand okay. so intercept c yeah intercept c intercept c so most of the thing are same you can see most of the thing are same but what we have to do we have to just uh, you know we have to just uh, uh, after we have to just multiply by using x right x x yeah we have to multiply using x and x dot ravel because ravel will be okay yeah dimensional issue it will solve okay so okay. now it will be in the bracket i think uh, yeah it will be bracket. No, 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 no. Why bracket required? Why bracket is not required. Wait, wait, wait. I think uh, no, no. It will be bracket. Let me check. Two. And then two. you have to keep one more bracket okay. in starting. Okay, okay. Sum. Because we are summing. First of all, we are summing, right? We are summing. Uh. Okay. Let me define. Okay. First of all, we are summing, right? And as well as mm. what we are doing. Okay. Let me find. And we are multiplying by x i, right? Hmm. that's why we have to close this bracket also then then we have to write this in between that okay i think you then got uh, uh, then close that last bracket yeah keep outside yeah this i have closed already because this bracket and this bracket this is the sum bracket and and because you have also write like that okay if you if you write in a I mean, no 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 okay. uh, i think you got it right now right Yes, now it is correct. Yeah, but uh, if, you, if you if you if you study in a variable, so if you just you pass the u here, you means what? You are just trying to sum it up the u, whatever your value it is getting, you are sum it up the u because hmm. always consider the matrix because internally mar matrix multiplication is happening, right? That's yes, why. Yes. Okay. That's why bracket is important. Okay. If you uh, see okay. the code properly if you run that code i think you will uh, understand properly okay yes yes okay. yes i will give you so yeah uh, i think i have done the intercept part then now i have to what i have to define the weight initialization okay yes i have to update my weight so huh. wh what is the formula for update uh, weighting so m slope m self, uh, my slope m equal to uh, m not m self uh, not self sorry uh, yeah self self m because this is my, my old slope m. this is this is my what? old and i am supposed to update the old weight right yes o from old weight i will uh, subtract the new weight right minus yeah. slope m uh, okay so the minus my slope m self Slope, slope, not slope. Yeah, learning rate will come. Remember? Okay, okay. You are doing fast. It. Okay, fine, yeah. fine. Anything fine. Yeah. Into slope m. Yeah. Into slope m. What? Uh, yeah, slope m. Slope. And yeah, slope m. Are you getting? Yes. Okay. So just just revise that. Okay. Whatever I have learned here, I have just uh, trying to code. Okay. Now. Uh, Simultaneously, just update the C also. C. So for C, I will just write C, and uh, let's define intercept C. C. And my LR and intercept, intercept C. Intercept C. Copy and paste. Okay. Intercept C. Then uh, at the end, I will just print print it because here they are printing right. Here they are printing. Huh. I will just also print. I, I want to see whether it is uh, giving the right result or not. Okay, so that's yeah, why. Yeah, self I dot m and self dot c. Self dot m and uh, self dot, dot c. c. 
so it will print after calculating okay because i have written it up yes. yeah i think you got it okay after calculating mm. it will print okay it's and everything correct okay so okay so i have done till now i have to also uh, write the predict function okay because i will i want to also predict okay i want to also predict on my testing data okay so that's why i will uh, create another function which uh, name is predict predict then self okay self dot 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 uh, what predict text? Predict text just one uh, one so variable. Just, for predict, just you will get uh, input variable. Okay, not, yes. not output variable. Because you have trained your model. Now you want to yes. utilize your model to predict the new data. Okay, so that's yes. why you will keep the I mean just one variable which is your independent variable. Okay, then whatever you are trying to uh, whatever you have uh, predicting, uh, whatever you are predicting, just uh, try to return. Okay, return it. Yes. Self dot. So, what is my uh, prediction formula? Y is equal to m x plus m x plus c, right? So, y yes. is equal to m. Then x times x, right? Times x. Yes. Then uh, what is the uh, self? Oh, uh, c. So, won't you give this uh, x dot rabel? What? X dot rabel. Okay, okay. X dot rabel. Yeah, you can you can say. It. But if you if you no, don't, no, I, I think it won't come, na. I think yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but Rav, uh, okay, yeah. you have to give travel also because you 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 if you if you don't give that, okay, it will work for sure. Okay, but yeah, you, now it will work now because we have two yeah, yeah. data, na. Yeah, so yeah. it will work. Yeah. Suppose we have it's two, two three data but, that time. But uh, it, it's a good practice. Okay, it's a good practice to mm. give. Okay, because if you uh, okay. if you visit the I mean GitHub port. Uh, from SQL mm. library, so you will see they are using their kinds of uh, notation. Okay, that's kinds of function. So for that, you know? yes, yeah, yes. Okay, so I think uh, we have done. I think uh, we have. Uh, let's uh, run the code. Yeah, we are not getting any error. Now let's uh, do. Now this is our custom custom model. So we will create an object called custom model. And what what is my class name? Class name is linear regression. Linear regression. Okay, linear regression. So linear regression. Let's run. Okay. Okay. So in a linear regression, I think. Okay. 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 In linear regression, I have to give two value because I have defined. First of all, I have to give the learning yes. rate and I have to give the epoch. Okay. So that's right. Okay. Yes. So let's say learning rate. I am giving. Uh, let's say learning rate is equal to zero. Learning rate you have to define. Okay. You have to define, but just, just keep it uh, keep it small okay. first of all keep no no 0 0.5 is a very okay. high number okay if you uh, see that okay, okay. let's uh, keep it 0 0.01 i think most of the time okay. most of the time you will see uh, the library utilizing this this value okay this value works well most of the time okay but it's okay. up to you if you are okay. getting good result then you can keep it but if you are not getting good result then you can change it it's up to you okay 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 now uh, let's say epochs is uh, 50 okay now initial okay. initially we'll take the 50 50 epochs okay so let's run that yeah it's perfectly run now let's try to fit the data okay custom dot model dot fit now let's see our model is working or not i'm i'm a little bit confused <laughs> whatever i have written a, work or not. Uh, x x uh, a. X n and y train okay uh okay let's okay okay interesting uh for the one time okay 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 sorry 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 what is the issue what is the deal it is out of bound what for any dimension one okay. 120 Think, uh, me. Wait. Okay. Why it is not working? Yeah, 
you can run that uh, x train and y train yeah giving the no, no that abo yeah this one x train and this abo one no no abo one not this one that uh, import import wala not here go up hmm? go up uh, run that uh, not this one go up uh, above that class uh, class what no uh, go go up little one cell up one cell up huh, this one you run this one this one uh. yeah i run there okay what is that error coming see na you will get it Okay, let me check. Okay, I have done the code. Let me check. What is the code? Uh, okay, let me fix the issue. That is something. Let me find. Wait. I think I have uploaded some data, but sometimes I also get confused. Okay, what does that mean? Yeah, that is fine, bro. Thank you. 